What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily. Let's get into the tech news. First story of the day, Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. This is another render of what it's going to look like. So why don't we dive in and see what it's going to look like. Now this was, I believe, made by Ice Universe showing off the back and the front here. And let's get excited about it. We got a big camera on the back there, but I don't know, his render doesn't really show off that big camera hump like we saw in Jimmy's promos. Uh, a video of the official phone, but we're still, it's just nice to look at this phone because it's a phone a lot of us are going to get with the power button. You can see uh, on the left-hand side there, but it's ultimately gonna be on the right when you you know have it in its proper orientation along with the volume buttons, the camera in the top and the middle on that front screen. And then uh, the fingerprint sensor at the bottom there, very small bezels all the way around, very similar look to what you would get with the Galaxy S20 Ultra. And then here's a photo showing off the top of the phone, but you're looking at the bottom here, and you can see that's gonna be where, at the bottom right there, you're gonna see that's where you'll put the SIM card and the micro SD card. Next up is about the Galaxy Tab S7 and S7 Plus. Now, Tab S7 will have an 11 inch display, Tab S7 Plus will have a 12.4 inch display but see beyond those two screen sizes there's actually going to be a bigger change and that is the fingerprint sensor so as you know with you know galaxy say an s20 device the fingerprint sensor is right on the display and that's also where it will be with the galaxy tab uh, S7 Plus. So if you you know you love that, it's going to be on the S7 Plus. But on the Tab S7, the regular version, the 11-inch version, it's actually going to be mounted on the side where the power button is. So that's the way uh, you'll unlock the phone. And to be honest with you, if I could choose, I would probably choose it on the side too. It's probably going to work a lot better and faster and more accurately. More importantly when it's mounted on the side of the phone. Now the, the uh, Galaxy Z Flip also has it mounted on the side and it just is, I think, better. It, these ones on the screen, they work okay. Some people love them, I, I don't like it. It's not as accurate as the physical one. So Tab S7 side mounted fingerprint sensor. Last story of the day, Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2, the phone I want so bad, oh my God. Well, we all, we all know it's probably gonna be delayed. It's gonna come out a little bit later than Unpacked is going to happen, probably in September, October, November, sometime in that time range. Well, ET News of South Korea has put out some specs of this phone. We've kind of already known about most of these specs, but it's good to go through them again with another news agency reporting on it. So that big main display will be 7.7 .7 inches, foldable Super AMOLED, on the inside with a 120 hertz refresh rate and ultra thin glass. And remember that 120 hertz refresh rate, I've heard um, uh, from a source that it's going to be 1080p plus. It won't be at its completely you know highest resolution. It might be the highest resolution because it's still not a 2K display really, uh, but it definitely won't be 2K plus. Uh, on the outside, the device reportedly has a 6.23 inch Super AMOLED display. So it's a fairly large display and that's what we've been hearing that it will have. It also seems to feature a side mounted fingerprint reader, similar to the first gen Galaxy Fold. The phone should also feature a 10 megapixel selfie camera on the inside and the outside. Also the Galaxy Z Fold's rear facing triple camera setup features a 12 megapixel primary camera, a 12 megapixel ultra wide angle camera, and a 64 megapixel telephoto camera. And that basically matches up with the Galaxy S20 cameras. Also with the Z Fold 2, you should be able to reverse wirelessly charge at 15 watts and fast wireless charge at 15 watts. The total battery capacity of the phone is 4365 milliamps and it will include 25 watt fast charging. It's also expected to have a Snapdragon 865 plus processor, 256 and 512 gigabytes of internal storage and 5G connectivity. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe new videos every single day. My question out to you guys is, which phone are you buying this fall? You gonna hold out for the Galaxy Fold 2? You gonna buy the Note 20, Note 20 Ultra? You gonna end up buying a Galaxy S20? You're gonna buy the new Pixel phone, the new iPhone? Let me know in the comments down below. All the phones that I plan on buying, 
it's getting crazy, but I'm gonna trade some phones in to eat into the cost of that. But I do plan on getting the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. I do plan on getting the Galaxy Z Fold 2. And I do plan on getting one of the new iPhones. Uh, I will trade in my iPhone 11 to cut into the cost of the iPhone uh, 12 phone that I end up getting. I'll trade in my S20 Ultra to cut into the cost of the Note 20 Ultra. And then that Z Fold 2. Hopefully that'll be on Samsung Axis, but from what I've heard, it's like a 50-50 chance it'll be on there, but hopefully it is, and I'd like to get that phone through that. We'll see what happens. Let me know what you guys are getting. We'll see you down the road.